Well, we're eating good, boys. Um, on Sunday, it was November 6th, 2022, the date that the Sword Art Online incident began and the date everything has begun. Just think about that. We we've managed to make it to a point in Sorted Online where like in not just in Sorted Online, in a franchise in general where like the actual date has happened. <laughs> like the actual date of an event has come true. It's so cool and Twitter was great with people tweeting like they were pretending they were in stuck in Sword Art. It's great. Um but of course the full dive event took place on November sixth. And a lot of stuff was announced. So, let's kick it off. We have, of course, Last Recollection. Uh, a new game has been announced for 2023. When I first saw this, I thought, oh, is this going to be DLC for Alice's Station Licorice? No! Completely new game. New game for the Gameverse. Sword Online Last Recollection, which will be the War of Underworld arc for the Gameverse is coming. Uh, Alice's Station Licorice was mainly the human uh, realm part of uh, the human realm arc. That was Alice's Station Licorice. And uh, Last Recollection will be adapting the War of Underworld arc. Um, so yeah, that comes out next year. Well, we know 2023. That's all we know. Uh, and this is what it comes out for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, and PC. Yes, I am looking for that one. Uh, we got some character images here. So we got Kirito right there. Look at him. Look at that armor. Sweet. And uh, you can tell the game does look very much like Assassination Licorice. Makes sense. Uh, but there is some slight graphical improvements as well. We got Asuna there. Xenon. Leafa. We got Alice and a new gear. Of course, Yu-Gi-Oh. Spoilers, he lives in Licorice. We got Bricoli in his armor. We got Cardinal. We got Shasta there, the Dark Knight, and uh, Lipia. They didn't get much shine, uh, especially in the anime. They got like two episodes where they... Not even two episodes, like an episode before they died. <laughs> uh, we got Ishkan right there, head of the Pugilists. And we got D.I.L. over there with her fan service attire. And we got two new original characters, Dorothy, who was going to be a Black Knight, and Sarai here. Uh, so yeah. The trailer is there. You can watch it. Uh, there is an English. There's one with English subtitles, of course. And this was, yeah, we got some screenshots here, of course. So we got Ishkan right there. There's Kirito with the double swords fighting. I don't know what is that like a scorpion thing. Klein, Klein, and Agil were shown in the trailer, so they will be in the game. Uh, we haven't seen them in the video game because I don't believe they were in Alice's Asian Licorice, so they haven't really been seen since. What? Fatal Bullet? Were they even in Fatal Bullet? I don't even think they were in Fatal Bullet. <laughs> uh, we got Xenon, Leafa, which is nice. Little overview there. There's our two original characters. We got a Scythe Wielder there. Look at that. We got D.I.L. there. There is the... um. Oh my god, what is it called? The thing that... It's the block. The door that blocks the Dark Territory. Uh, and of course, there's the what will probably end up being the cover art for uh, Last Recollection. And there it is in black and in white. There you go. So Last Recollection, I'm looking forward to it. That's another game to add to my um, to my game list for 2023. Uh, just, j just when I'm not even finished Hollow Fragment, you added a new one. Uh, but not only was there game news, there's anime news. A original movie is going to be made a la ordinal scale here we go now people were complaining that at the end of sure's of a deep night movie there was no announcement for another movie and they're like i guess we're done it's like no obviously they're gonna save the announcement for november 6th and they did we we're getting an anime we are getting an original completely new movie so this is going to be again along the lines of ordinal scale which was a completely made up a story for that movie we're getting another one of those this if i had to guess is probably going to bridge the gap for unital ring this is going to be that uh anime bridge between alicization and unital ring 
And maybe, this is just wishful thinking, maybe we'll get a little tease at the end saying you noodle ring coming soon. That, uh, that'd be sweet. I like that. Of course, Shores of a Deep Night is still in theaters in Japan. Killing it. Hasn't come out here yet, um, which sucks. But I will definitely do a review of it when it comes out. Uh, some more game news now. Uh, Sword Online Integral Factor released Floor 100 today, uh, uh, which was that sweet that they released, you know, Floor 100 on the day. I wonder if they've been planning that since the conception of the game. That'd be sweet if it was. Floor 100 was announced, uh, not announced, was released. Uh, and Variant Showdown, the new mobile game, Sword Online Variant Showdown, which they've been Posting a bunch of stuff for, had sadly, uh, they had an announcement, which is not the best, is in this producer letter, which says, Hello, Global Players. This is producer Takeuchi. First, I want to thank you for your continued support. Sorry, on online variant showdown. I created this message because I have something to tell you all. We're planning to release the game on November 6, 2022. The day SAO began to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the anime, but it became difficult, so we decided to postpone the release day. We apologize to all the players who have been looking forward to the game for a long time, and we'd like to ask you to wait just a little longer. We're still working on the game to make it even better for everyone we are very close to the release thank you for again for your patience and we will keep, hope to get your support so uh that does suck that you know they couldn't release the game um when they wanted to and again it would have been cool to release the game on november 6th but i understand man you know video games are a hell of a chore to make so there is that uh but that's all the big announcements, I can really tell you, uh, that happened over the course of the day. Uh, there was also an interview uh, with the magazine that where they said that they want Sword Online just as a franchise to continue for the next 10 to 20 years. Uh, I'm all for that. Let's go, bro. We stay winning. Uh, so there's all the news. Let me know what you guys think of it all. What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I'll see you all next time.